Hello, welcome back once more. We continue here where we stopped last time in um property actions and links. Once more, my name is Anthony Emmanuel. Um, this section we're gonna continue. First off, we worked on custom um connections here. We call it a link documents. But this time around, I'm gonna work on what we call action links. Action links is just like these buttons you see here, you being able to create yours. It's more like adding custom button, but it's a little different in terms of uh, how to create it. And uh, say I click on this accounting ledger. Now you see it took me to a link accounting ledger. Um, you have some other button group of button here that help you do other things. Now, how can we create this from here um, without using the custom fields? You can do that directly in the doc type. Now I'm going to work with. I'm going to work with my property doc type. I'm going to add the button here using the action links described in this document. You have action and links. And here you can see a button here. It says execute. So how can we add this from the doc type? Um, so I'm going to add it here just somewhere in between. Okay, you go straight, edit this custom estate doc type. Use edit. If you're in production, you can use customize. I opened it already. I'm going to scroll down. Recall we worked on this link document, but we rather we did it in the code directly. And here is the results. Um, okay, you might have to reload this page to get. Okay, we did that in the sorry, in the agent page. In the agent. Okay, so I'm going to dive straight in, creating my action. Now here's what the action does. Here is the label for the action. Here is a, what's gonna happen, um, the action type, what should be done, and a group. Okay, I'm gonna add a row and give it a label. A label should be something like um, send mail, okay? Uh, notify agents, okay? Yeah, server action this types and should um, a route be open say um on this here on this customer just like this when you click on this it opens a route for you a link that is links you to a different page doc type or report or something but here i'm more concerned about don't worry about this error is coming because the doc uh, the customer has no connection to that doc type Anyway, on our property, so I'm going to use server action. And this here, I'm going to expand it. Action route is a direct call to your methods in your app. So I'm going to write a method in my app beside this API. I'm going to write a very quick method at frappy.whitelists. Define um, notify agents Okay, what this is gonna do is once the button is created, we click on it, it executes this code. I'm gonna explain what this code does anyway. Um, back to it and so this method here is can be found from estate app dot api dot notify underscore agent so here we add estate app dot api dot notify agent and group group means do you want to add it to list of buttons yeah like this is a group so you have a name here, then list of actions. But I'm not gonna drop it in a group, I'm just gonna leave the group blank. Now you can see we have a name. This name will be what you see like this, accounting ledger, something like this. The action is the background that executes this method. And this method can be found in our code inside estate app site api and notify agent um 
you can save reload the browser if you have not save this okay i'm gonna reload this document once i reload this document you find a button somewhere here okay yeah reloaded now you see the button notify agents now what did i do in this um methods all i did was pull this frappe.form date we pull the entire content of this doc type to pull every field here and serve it to us at the back end so i'm going to click the button click now something happened but you may not know you can actually add um, some kind of functionality that may print message some message that says okay the action has taken place now we can check from our browser uh sorry console now you see the documents printed what executed the command that executed is stab.api.notify agent and here's the document itself the content of the document you have the document name 0164 0164 you have a owner a property name all the information say you want to send a um, message to the agent you can pull the agent here is the agent name the agent document name 005 now you see 005 with this you can actually pull the agent information pull out the email and drop the message or do anything and at the end you can as well drop message back that says frappy um dot message prints mm. agents notified now you, you can put this information to do whatever you want and at the end of the day you can decide to return something to the screen i'm going to save this um i have to reload my server back um, reload now we have it um reloaded i can click on this notify agents and now you see a message has been printed okay um complained about this underscore the translator because i did not import it so i can import it using from frappy imports underscore I'm going to try if it gives the error once more might have to refresh the now you see the message it says agent notified okay i hope you understood what uh we just did we came here um to the document itself that is the doc type where you edit the doc type or you can come directly from customized doc type and also add it customized doc type but since i'm in development um it's better to you know edit the doc type directly find it a action you enter the information the action name the uh, type and the method that should be executed when that button is clicked and here you see so thanks for watching i hope you um understood what we did and if you have any question you can drop it in the comment box below and once more my name is anthony manuel please do like and subscribe to the tutorials thank you